Let's talk about how to calculate the exterior angle measures of a triangle using the exterior angle theorem. Hopefully you remember from our previous video that we discussed how to calculate the interior angle measures. The interior angles are the ones on the inside of the shape, like angles 1, 2, and 3 on this diagram. But today we're going to be talking about exterior angles, which are formed by extending one of the sides of the triangle, like what you see for angle 4. By definition, an exterior angle of a triangle forms a linear pair with its adjacent interior angle. In other words, angle 3 and angle 4 are a linear pair. And that's cool and all, but there's actually more to exterior angles than that. To figure out what else they have to offer, let's write a proof. All I'm going to tell you is that angle DCA is an exterior angle of this triangle. And what I'm going to ask you to try to prove is that the measure of angle DCA is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles of that triangle. That would be angle A and angle B. Well, let's see. What do we know about exterior angles? We just learned that their definition is that they form a linear pair with their adjacent interior angle. So I could say that angle DCA and angle ACB are a linear pair, and that's because of the definition of exterior angle. So this angle and this angle are a linear pair. Okay, what do I know about linear pairs? I know that they're supplementary because of the linear pair postulate. So instead of just saying that those two angles are a linear pair, I can say that they're supplementary, and I know that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So I can say that the measure of angle DCA plus the measure of angle ACB is equal to 180 degrees because of the definition of supplementary angles. And then I kind of hit a dead end. That's pretty much all I can say about those two angles. So I'm going to need extra information from elsewhere in the diagram. What else do you see in this diagram other than a linear pair? Well, I see a triangle. And we learned in our previous lesson that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always equal to 180. So let's write that down. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle ACB equals 180 because of the triangle sum theorem. Well, now I have two things that equal 180. If they both equal 180, then don't they equal each other? So I could write this. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle ACB is equal to the measure of angle DCA plus the measure of angle ACB. I just set these two things equal to each other because they were both equal to 180. You could either say that's the substitution property of equality, or you could also use transitive here. Well, looking on both sides of this equation, I see angle ACB on both sides. So I could subtract angle ACB from both sides to get it to cancel out. And all I would have is that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, ACB goes away, is equal to the measure of angle DCA, ACB goes away. That was the subtraction property of equality. But that's not quite exactly what I was asked to write. I'll switch that around using the symmetric property. So you just created the exterior angles theorem, which states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. And that allows us to solve problems like this really easily. X represents an exterior angle measurement, and 32 degrees and 80 degrees are the two non-adjacent interior angles of that triangle. The exterior angle theorem tells us that we can add those two non-adjacent angles together and get the value of x. x has to be 112 degrees because of the exterior angles theorem. Be careful though, you're not always just going to add the two numbers on the screen together. You add the two non-adjacent angles together and set that equal to the exterior angle. The exterior angle here measures 111 degrees, and the two non-adjacent interior angles are 39 and x. So the equation I'll write according to the exterior angles theorem is 111 equals 39 plus x, and that means that x must be 72 degrees. You of course can apply this to an algebraic context as well. Again, just add your two non-adjacent angles together and set it equal to the exterior angle measurement. So my exterior angle is 16x minus 2, and I'll set that equal to 11x plus 48. And then just solve. Subtract 11x from both sides, add 2, divide by 5, and I find out that x equals 10. 
And that's all you need to know about the exterior angles theorem. In our next lesson, we'll be moving on to specifically discussing equilateral and equiangular triangles, as well as isosceles triangles. We'll learn a new theorem and its corollary and converses called the base angles theorem.